On Tuesday, August 20th, Marine Aircraft Group 31 hosted a showcase of the F-35 Bravo Joint Strike Fighter aboard Marine Corps Air Station Beaufort, South Carolina for government dignitaries and the local media. During the event, Marine Fighter Training Squadron 501 conducted a demonstration of the F-35 Bravo and Major General Robert Headland, Commanding General of the 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing, addressed the public. Last month, uh, the Deputy Commandant for Aviation, uh, Lieutenant General Schmidl, was up at uh, Cherry Point. And during his visit there, they were in conducting the first F-35B into FRC East up there for modification. And, and what he said there was that we needed to take another step in normalizing the F-35B in its relationship with the local communities, with the Marine Corps, etc. So that was, that was his, his kind of going away comment was the more we get this aircraft out in front of people and in front of Marines, the better off we'll be. The, the goal today really is to introduce uh, the JSF, the F-35B, to the local community here. Uh, obviously, Marine Corps Air Station Buford is an integral part of the community, and we wanted to open the doors for some folks to come out and see the airplane up close and personal, see a little bit of the capability that it, that it provides, and, and really begin to, to normalize and operationalize the F-35B capability with the local community. Uh, the airplanes that you saw today, both in the hangar and the ones that flew overhead, uh, are based currently in Eglid Air Force Base down in, in Panhandle, Florida. That, uh, that contingent of Marines and uh, contractors who are taking care of the airplane right now, bringing it to operational capability, are based there until next summer. 501 moves up to uh, MCAS Buford next summer on the current timeline. Uh, the air station is looking to be ready for that arrival uh, after the first of the year, but uh, anticipating a summer 14 move to permanently base here at, uh, at Buford.